Hi, welcome to Yoga Talk. My name is Diane Kovanda, and today we have as a guest Jin Hake, and this is our second segment. We're going to look at how Yoga Neighborhood, which you founded, uh, teaches a chair-supported yoga. Will you tell us a little bit about it, and then we'll demo some? Sure, sure. So Yoga Neighborhood was founded on the idea that everyone in the community should have access to yoga. Mm. And so when you look at the community on Cape Cod, we have a number of people who live here who call Cape Cod home that have trouble getting up and down off the floor. And they, they might be very active, they might want to be very active, but getting off of the floor, standing up, that can be really challenging and it can be intimidating. And so they stay away from from movement and exercises mm. that require that. So uh, we offer a chair supported class that is very popular with people who want to be active, want to be healthy, but they don't want to have to deal with that, that issue of getting up, down and up off the floor. And so chair yoga is really an adaption of all the yoga poses that we do, but using a chair, um, either sitting in the chair to do some of the seated poses or using a chair for support to do some of the traditional standing poses. So if I didn't feel I could balance as I'm standing up or in a standing posture, I could be holding the chair and steadying myself. Exactly. You always have the chair for just a little bit of support. Mm -hmm. And what we find is that people, as they get used to using the chair as support, they might find that they can wean themselves off of the chair. But just the, having the chair there um, for a little bit of a security blanket means a lot. Sometimes right. it's all psychological, and it's just getting past that fear. Of that falling. Fear of falling. Yeah. Right. And what we found is that people, even doing a chair supported class, and some people say, well, chair supported yoga, you're not really doing anything, you're not really moving. But actually, what the people who participate in our classes tell us is that it has a dramatic effect on their life. They really see an improvement in their balance. They really find an improvement in their flexibility. Mm -hmm. And those are two really important things. One of the um, ladies who practice with us has said that she's been able to get off of her blood pressure medicine and she's dropped a number of pounds oh, just, by doing, just by doing yoga. She's, she's healthier, she's stronger. And because she sees that positive growth and see that improvement in her health, she's taking even better care of herself mm, outside of the mm. yoga class. And so just doing some very simple poses in a chair or with a chair for support is a great way to start. And it's also easy to do at home. And so what we try and do is teach people some simple movements that they can do that then they can go into their living room and, and practice you know, doing not an hour of yoga, but 10 or 15 minutes mm -hmm. of yoga a day when they can't get to class. It's a wonderful thing, especially during the winter when so many of us, you know, are, are sort of staying. Not heading outside. Staying, they really don't want to go outside. And so what can you do to move? And so mm -hmm. you always have a chair there that you can practice with. Great. Yeah. And folks viewing today can join us in they what we're doing. They absolutely can do it. Yes, yes. And the key is to find as sturdy a chair as you possibly can. Mm -hmm because you want to be able to lean on that chair. Don't do this on to. a super soft couch. Don't do it on a super mm -hmm. soft couch. It might be tempting, but don't do it. <laughs> and do it where you have a supported back. And so you can, you can sit upright and you can, and you can move around in the chair mm. and feel comfortable with it. But it's amazing that if, with a little imagination, almost any pose that we, we do standing or we do seated on the floor, we can adapt for a chair. And of course, chair yoga has been around for a long time and people can use a, do a whole practice seated in a chair and we can adapt that for those folks as well. But this chair supported class is really for people who can stand up, who can move around, but they're just not quite ready to get up and down off the floor. They need a little studying. They need a little mm -hmm. studying. And I think that in, in some of our chair yoga classes, I think our youngest participant that I know of is in her 40s, but we have um, some people who are in their mid to late 80s. And so there's no limit to what you can do if you're willing mm. to give it a try. You know what I love about chair yoga is I personally will do it if I'm waiting parked in my car. I'll do some of the things that you can do in a very small, tight space. Right. Just a little twist or a forward fold right. toward the driver's wheel. Parked in Parked a car. In a car. Yeah. And another thing that people are using chair supported for um, yoga for is uh, when they're in their office. And mm -hmm. so this isn't necessarily for people who can't get up and down off the floor, but say you're in your suit and you're in an office 
And so wouldn't it be wonderful if in the middle of your day, take 10 minutes out and do some stretching that might feel really good on the back and on the shoulders, mm -hmm. on the arms and the hands. And you know, if you have a desk job especially, those muscles get strained. And so what can you do? Just sitting there and, and be totally subtle about what you're doing, but that you're taking care of yourself and, and maybe boosting your energy, boosting your, your health even while you're working, mm, just from the, great. just while, from your desk chair, yeah, love it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> will you show us a few things? I will, I will. So, when in the yoga neighborhood classes, one of the things we try to do is really empower people to to explore what they can do with every pose. And so, we're going to invite people to try some things and gradually move into the full expression of the pose and fi figure out what's their full expression mm -hmm. of the pose, what's perfect for them at that moment that day. And so one of the um, ones that we like to do is a seated forward fold. And so for a seated forward fold, I'd like to, uh, to invite you to come a little bit forward on your chair so that your feet can be firmly planted on the floor. And so you have a really good connection. Maybe open up the knees just a little bit. And sit as tall as you can. Maybe roll your shoulders up by the ears and then set them back down a couple times until they really feel like your shoulders are set down where they need to be. And then bring your hands to the tops of your legs. And with an inhale, get tall. And as you exhale, hinge at the hips and come forward just an inch or two. And then inhale, come up. And as you exhale, come down a little farther this time. And so work with this, just inhaling, coming up nice and tall, exhaling, coming forward. And whenever you're ready to stop, whenever you feel like you've come forward enough, that's the place where you're gonna pause. And so if you have high blood pressure that can be a little bit pesky that you have trouble with, you don't wanna come down too far. But if it feels fine to come up and then go back down and hang forward, you can come down as far as you'd like. And so I'm gonna do this one more time. And as I exhale, I'll pause. And I'll just pause here for a moment and relax the neck, maybe shake the head, yes or no. The arms can now fall down by the legs and be nice and loose. And when you're ready on an inhale, roll up nice and slowly with the head coming up last. <sighs> and so we do inversions to boost the energy. It's good for the circulatory system. It's good for the mood. There's so many benefits. It's good for brain health. And so doing an inversion, even a gentle inversion from a chair can have really positive effects. I think people think of inversions as standing on your head. That's classic exactly, yoga. Exactly. St so doing this a still gives stand, you the benefits. You still get the benefits. You just flip mm -hmm. over a little bit. Mm. But from, your, from the safety and the comfort of your chair. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay. So we try another pose? Let's. Okay. So we tried a seated forward fold. Now we're going to do a standing forward fold. And so for that, we're going to stand in back of the chair. So you want to have a nice sturdy chair here. And stand back, bring your fingertips to the back of the chair, and then maybe step back another couple of inches even from there. Okay. So there's a couple of variations for this. Um, let's bring our arms down by, side, by our sides to start. So if you do have issues with blood pressure, or if you have any issues with the shoulders, one of the ways to do this is from a position where the hands are going to be at the heart. But if the shoulders feel good and you don't have any issues with blood pressure, you can bring your arms up overhead and turning the pinkies in just a little bit and softening the shoulders. And take a deep breath in. You're going to exhale and bring your hands to the back of the chair and fold forward with a flat back. And then inhale, reach your arms up or bring your hands to your heart, whatever feels right for you. Exhaling, come forward again. And one more time, inhaling, arms up. Exhaling, hands come to the back of the chair. And pause here for three full breaths. And when you're ready on an inhale, you can raise your arms up and come back to your mountain, your standing pose for three full breaths. Being nice and tall, softening the shoulders. 
So that's one of our favorite standing poses. Mm. Another pose that we like to do with people in our cheer supported classes is some, some balancing. And so um, one of um, my favorite poses involves the chair and we're gonna practice getting some movement in with the balance. We're gonna use some different muscles maybe that we don't always use. And so we're gonna um, balance going in some different directions with our body. So a little bit different. So it's a little bit playful. So I recommend that people um, stand a little bit to the side of their chair as they get started and come into their mountain pose. So they're very strong. The legs are strong, the core is strong. And in a balanced pose, we always focus on something to help us through this pose. And so the options are to bring the fingertips to the back of the chair for a little bit of support. Now pouring the weight into the right leg, go ahead and lift the left leg straight out in front of you. Now you can flex the foot or you can keep the toes pointed. And you can let go of the chair if you want. And then the foot comes down. This time we're gonna pour the weight into the right leg and take the left leg out to the side and rest on the toes. And again, using the back of the chair for just a little bit of support, we're gonna to lean to the right as the left leg goes out to the side and maybe the left arm reaches up as well. So we're building strength and we're working on our balance. We're staying focused. We're breathing. The most important part of every pose is the breath. And on an exhale, the foot comes down and we come to an upright position. Now we're gonna go backwards. So pouring the weight into the right leg, take the left foot and step it in back. Now you can bring your hand, your left hand to the chair as well. And then pouring your weight into the right leg, lift the left leg up. And if you'd like, you can reach your left arm out. Stay focused, keep that leg nice and strong. and then come back to your mountain pose. And we have to do both sides. Mm -hmm. So always both sides. Go to the other side of the chair and we'll begin bringing the foot forward. Inhaling, raising the right foot up. And the foot doesn't have to be high off the floor. It can just be a couple of inches. And you always have the option of bringing the foot forward and just maybe resting on the toes. And then the right foot comes down and we'll go to the side. So the weight goes into the left leg. As you tilt to the left, the leg reaches out to the right. And then back down. And now we'll go backwards, stepping the right foot back, bringing the right hand to the chair, pouring the weight into the left leg, lean forward. And if you'd like, you can raise your arm out in front. and then come back to mountain, standing nice and tall. And I always like to end with one more fold from the back of the chair, either hands at the heart or arms up overhead, reach up and then exhale, fold forward. And then inhale, come back to an upright position and back to your mountain. What do great. you think? I feel great. Thank you. Good, thank you. Thanks for coming over. My pleasure.